Hey guys, so finally my package arrived and I'm so excited to show you guys who I got. Um, my very first boy from Fox. Um, I mean, it was crazy because I had never paid fees for tax before and legitimately this was the first time DHL kept it um, on hold and then I had to pay for the tax and it was like $277 so I was like whoa it's a lot of money but also at least he's here and I can reveal to you guys which doll I adopted into my family I'm so excited to show you guys okay so here we go um, I've done unboxing videos before but I don't think like I've always unboxed them first kind of like and then just kind of filmed it so it looks like I'm unboxing it, but this is legitimate. So I'm actually unboxing it, so this is like the DHL receipt. And here I go. I was like imagining I got the wrong doll, but here is the box, so you guys can kind of see who I got, and after a week of being kind of sick with a cold, a common cold, not the, the virus, I finally received something good. And this is the box. Oh my god, I feel like ever since I bought dolls from Vox, maybe the Vox quality has changed. But ta da! This is him. And I am so excited to like try his clothes on him. I bought a bunch of clothes recently because I don't really have clothes for boy dolls because I've got a girl family. <laughs> but also, I guess my bunny is engendered, so... But the most daunting part of this whole getting a new doll from Volks thing is I have to remove the hot glue and that always freaks me out. But let's see. Okay, so... I'm opening him now. The papers are here. And then... That's everything else. These cute little SD hen loafers. And his wig. Of course, the default outfit. And drum roll. <laughs> They've packed him so well. I just love how Vox packed the dolls. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. And here he is. I want to introduce you guys to my new boy. There he is right there. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, let me just appreciate him for a second. going to have so much fun together. You are gorgeous and perfect. Such a handsome boy. I'm the only boy I've ever dreamed of having in my family. This is close up with Michelin. It's gorgeous face. So 
this is initially all dressed up. Um, I want to talk about why I suddenly got a boy. I think I've always wanted a boy in my family and I feel like just for ages just I contemplated on getting a Michael. Some SD10 boy that would aesthetically look very dandy but be still quite dainty enough to kind of integrate with my family. And so he's been released a couple times, I know that. And I've tried, <laughs> I've tried every time he's been released and never won. And yeah, finally won. So I'm very much happy to add him to my family. Um, so his name is Michelin. I think that he will be kind of like, the gentle boy that sometimes gets like bullied by his sisters because he's just like such a such a pushover. So he'll be, I suppose, the one in the family that is like kind of gets picked on because he's the only boy in the family, but still very much loved, of course. Um, I don't know, I might have a lot more fun with a boy doll than I thought I would because we could dress the same. <laughs> the same. I've seen people like buy that that sweater. I don't know what brand it's from, but um, and match with it. I could do that with Michelin now. He's my dandy boy. He's my good boy. My handsome boy. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take pictures and then I'll show you guys just how cute he is and how well he fits in with my family. Um, I'm gonna get him repainted, like all the, the Volk's face up is amazing. I do love his face. You know, I I just have a thing for not keeping default face ups. I think, I don't know, it's like, cause I know someone else has the doll with the same face up and I want it to be kind of more distinctive in my family and in my style of dolls. They're very like, um, I don't know, they've got very saturated face ups so when they take pictures, like, this sounds crazy but at one point I wanted to repaint my one-off Ushi because her face up, to me, didn't go with the rest of the family. Now, you know, I don't want to touch it because she's beautiful but, you know, I make the exception because she's a one-off so there's not another Ushi that's gonna have the same face up as her, but it's just like a thing I have. But um, yeah, I'll take pictures and I'll add it to it as well. But here's a close up of Michelin. I think the difficult thing is that um, his eyes are 60 millimeter. I've been collecting 20 millimeter and 18 like since the beginning of the hobby with the exception of my USDs which I think is 6 no they're not 16 they're 14 millimeters so I'm really <laughs> I've like started to order new things especially for Michelin so he's very special he's um he's the beginning of something new for 2021 and hopefully he'll be beautiful very soon as well beautified <laughs> um, hopefully he won't take too long. I'm thinking I'll send him maybe, because this week is Mardi Gras in Australia, maybe next week I'll send him off to get his face done and it shouldn't, shouldn't take too long. I've already designed it. I'll, I'll add a drawing. I, I always illustrate my face ups before I send it to the face up artist. So although they have a style, I have a specific idea of how I want the character to look. Thank you so much for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed my box opening video, I hope that everyone who ordered from Vox have got their dolls already as well, but um, yeah, have a good day, a good night, a good afternoon, a good whatever it is, whatever time it is where you are, but thank you for watching, there'll be more from this boy very soon, I promise.